effort in limiting each of my videos to about 13 minutes max uh, I have decided to make this video into a two-part episode as a result you will see part one now and you will see part two next week thank you very much I hope you enjoy bye bye so today my, my 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 guest on my channel is none other than mr funk himself he's no stranger to my channel we have had several discussions um in the past of which all have been interested and have gotten a lot of support from persons within the fish farm community now today we'll be talking about plant um plants and i would like to say hi mr funk what's up hey riley what's up how you doing out there in jamaica well in Jamaica we are alright, you know. We're expecting some healthy rain. We are expect, expecting a really active um hurricane season. Uh we are entering into the May rains. Uh, we're good, we're good. I'm preparing. I'm preparing. I think we should address the issue of having plants in our aquarium and plants. What do you think? So yeah, I would love to have a discussion with you on um plants in the ponds of the aquarium. Unfortunately I, I'm not too big on I don't have a whole lot of um, knowledge on ponds except for maintenance but that's not really the same thing I'm not an expert uh, and as far as plants in the aquarium I I have been experimenting so this is great because I could tell you my um, experiences with the experimentation that I've been doing so far and overall I've had good and bad um, more good than bad um, and a whole lot of whole lot of learning so I personally think plants in the aquarium are a good thing, you know, um, but I also think it's a whole nother monster onto itself. You have to be ready for or uh, the, 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 the taking care of plants might overtake the fish. So, you know, that, that's, that's my thoughts on it. Well, for me, I have plants. Uh, my plants exist in my ponds and not in my aquariums. There's a reason for that. In which I think we will look at that later, right? I guess partly due to my inability to provide the the pump system, the filtration system uh, for my extensive setup, uh, that might have actually pushed me in the direction of getting plants for my pond, right? I know I'm a cheapskate, but if it's not broken, why fix it, right? I I have had fish stock like this for nearly three years and. I have no issues with regard to that. All right, so like I said, ponds. I I have done I've done um pond maintenance before, but that was with an existing pond, and I wasn't doing anything super to it. I was just going to Home Depot pretty much and getting um pond plants and throwing them in there. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing with the ponds except for you know, but. There wasn't a whole lot of demand on me either, as far as that goes. The, the customer was happy with just having anything in there, but, you know, um, it's hard to kind of mess up with palm plants, in my opinion, because they're outside getting the Mother Nature's number one light, you know? So, you know, that was kind of easy for me. But um, if, if that's how you you running your, your system, whereas, you know, the 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 plants in your pond are the filtration and the aeration and you have that balance because I'm all about balance in your aquarium then more power to you um, if I ever do a pond I'm sure I will be going scrolling down all your all your uh, all your videos trying to figure out what information I can take from that but uh and as far as you being a cheapskate hey man I, I'm I'm with you on that if it's not broke don't fix it um, that's a big thing and not to mention you know what <clears throat> just because you spending money that don't mean you doing the best for your your fish um, you have a whole natural so get up going on uh, where it was discussed amongst several experts that there are a few downsides to having plants in your tanks or pond what is your okay, views so, on this yeah there's, there's um there's a downside to everything right and in my experience, like I said, I'm not an expert on plants or ponds. I can just tell you, in all honesty, 
this has all been um, this has all been an experiment and a learning experience. So I'm glad you're asking me all this because because uh, because now I get a chance to tell somebody what I've learned. But um, there's good and bad with everything. You got to take the good and bad. And, and the downside that I have learned is that having plants in your home aquarium is really not as easy as just throwing a plant in there. I mean, some people it is, but it starts taking on a life of its own. You know, like that's it's a living thing that has living has requirements. So you know, lighting, food. You have to feed something else other than your fish, um, and. You know, because if your fish is not producing the amount of nutrients for the plant to suck up, then you have to provide that. You know, the CO2 you have to deal with, there's lighting, which is the best light, how far down does it go, the spectrum and all that. And, and it can get to the point where you kind of forget that you got a fish tank, you know. So, yeah, that's that's the biggest, for me that's the biggest downside is that. It, it's something that takes in addition a life to what you just mentioned, right? It's 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 my common belief, right? That the shedding of leaves or plants in aquarium and tanks, uh, and the fact that the the leaves decay, shrivel and sink to the bottom, affecting the water quality, do have a part to play in whether or not persons decide whether or not to put uh, plants in tank. However, uh, with my recent discussion with vinegar, vinegar, Mr. Vinegar, right? uh we shared opinion and we did agree that infusia is one of the most appropriate ways of feeding some type of fish spe some fish species right and infusia for those persons who don't know are very small organism which actually begins to form on decaying plant matter and fish tend to eat so yeah i'm actually glad you brought that up because i did a video actually on um i had ammonia spike in my 90 gallon which i've never had an issue with my 90 gallon in fact i always used to look at it and think to myself that's the easiest tank i've ever had in my life every time i tested it it was on point you know i had these good tops on it the diy tops that was very little um uh, evaporation and then one day i come home and i see my fish all at the top gasping for air and I'm like, what? You know, so I did my test and I had ammonia spike. And honestly, I should have thought about it before, but because I'm so used to not having issues with my um, aquarium, it, it was uh, something I really didn't, I, I, I kind of just overlooked. But I had this stuff called hogwort. If you've ever had hogwort, it sheds like a pine tree. I don't know if you know what pine tree is, Mr. Riley, but... If, for those of you who don't know what a pine tree is, it's a tree, it's an evergreen tree, and these pine needles, and in, and in the, um, in the fall, when it, they, they shed their pine needles, and these needles all drop to the ground. Bam! Floor completely covered with these brown needles. Well, hogwart, when it starts to die off, it leaves a lot of these little pine needles all over the place, and... If you if you're not know if you don't know what you're doing because it's supposed to be a good beginner plant apparently, um, but if you don't know what you're doing, it 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 dies on you and you get these little pine needles. Well, in my 90 gallon, I'm rambling, but in my 90 gallon, uh, my filtration is in I have it in such a way that nothing sticks. It's a bare bottom because bare bottoms are the best bottoms, and. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, and everything gets sucked up. So these pine needles were getting sucked up before I even realized what was happening. And there was a bunch of... There was decaying pine needles basically in my filtration system. More than my filtration could handle because it happened too fast. All at once. Boom. And, and uh, I had ammonia spike. So yeah, that's another downside. What do you downside. think uh, yeah. fish manage in the wild when leaves do fall into the water there's nobody there to pick it out to clean it up or you know to siphon out anything that any litter that might exist within the pond or town well on, in the pond right in the river all right this is actually right? a really good question mother nature is a perfect architect all right she's had I, you know from whatever the spectrum you believe 
she's had many, 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 many years to perfect what we have now as 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 nature, as as earth. And where the leaves decaying in the water, Mother Nature provides a way to either use that in a beneficial way or remove it with let's say floods or um, rainy seasons or dry seasons any any way that you look at it those those for us I could go over with angels all right angelfish um, uh, in, in the Amazon the um, the leaves the, the the ground foliage the things that fall to the ground and decay and die um, during the dry seasons or and I hate to say dry seasons in the Amazon but the not the rainy seasons are pretty much dry ish you know they're not submerged in water they may be damp because it's a rainforest but they're not submerged in the in the rivers but when the rainy seasons come the the um the water floods the plains all right now those leaves that were dead and dryish um are now part of, part of the water system and and that change in pH and acidity and nutrients um, that triggers that triggers the angelfish to breathe, and they've been doing this for how many years? Thousands, millions, who knows? You know what I mean? Um, so that's actually a good thing, you know, in nature. Um, so when you're trying to recreate nature in your pond or your tank then, then you you know you have to keep in account that there's a reason for what's going on in nature and and you're gonna have to try and duplicate those reasons and, and be prepared for the result of, of that stuff but as far as mother nature goes and decaying plants the ecosystem has already handled any problems that would have happened because of thousands of years, millions of years of um, trial and error. And the cool thing about it is that Mother Nature is still working on it. So even if we change something, which we do change stuff, just being there, we mess stuff up, we add stuff, we take away stuff, Mother Nature will compensate. We just have to not, and I don't want to go into a rant over global warming or deforestation or anything like that but mother nation is awesome so if leaves are in the water in nature that's because mother nature wants it there and it's gonna do something good eventually and I know this the reason why I know this is because I'm always right sometimes listen everybody Mr. Riley fish keeping Jamaica people out in Jamaica United States Join all over the world next week for part two in this discussion and plants this is Riley here Thank you for watching. Do have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.